Alrighty guys, once again we have our negative test. And we're gonna open up the window. Oh, today looks bright. Oh. Today looks like they're actually nice day. So today is the first ODI for the um, Shine team. Gonna go to that later on, but now once I've done my um, my COVID test, I've got to go downstairs and actually have another PCR test um, just because it's seven days out before we fly to New Zealand. So yeah, let's head downstairs, get that done. Oh, and I'm also in my media kit because I've got an interview soon. Um, but yeah, let's head downstairs and get our test done. Alrighty, heading down for my PCR test, then grab a coffee and then do my interview. Can't find yourself. Good. <laughs> so, did you also get our DPSs? Yeah. 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 Righty, PCR test done, dusted, got my coffee. So I'll just have this coffee um, and then head downstairs and have my interview. Righty, so it is interview time. So let's head downstairs and hopefully, fingers crossed, I have a good interview. <laughs> Lobby, restaurant, ground, floor. Righty, back in the room from that interview, done and dusted. So that should be out within the next few days. So it's about indoor cricket um, and just the journey between uh, my indoor indoor career to outdoor. Some of the questions were pretty hard, but some others were fine. Um, but yeah, I thought I did a good job, which is nice for a change. Okay, so as you can see, I've started to repack everything. I haven't done everything yet, but. I need to repack everything but today is the first ODI that I will be going to but I'm about to head downstairs go grab a coffee and maybe some food Okay, so obviously back in the room now. Once I got my orange juice and then once I got my food, I wasn't able to film everything, anything because I couldn't carry everything. <laughs> so I got um, orange juice, banana bread and the granola once again because I absolutely loved this <laughs> last time. So here is the granola. Yum, once again. And then we got the banana bread and orange juice. You see, this is the problem of being too honest. Alrighty, time to head to the game. I've got my accreditation, I've got my wristband, if you can see it. Ah, the purple one there. there we go. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's head to the game. Hopefully it's a good game. Um, hopefully the weather is okay. I've got shorts on, so yeah, hopefully it's nice weather. <laughs> the main reason why I put shorts on is because I do want to be comfortable. I'm going to be there for several hours, so I think, yeah, having pants on. It's going to be a bit of a, um, I guess, uncomfortable feeling later on within the day. So short should be a good idea unless it gets really cold. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen. <laughs> Absolutely it is. And so do you think you're going to drive around? 
Thank you, the ball's taken cleanly. Keep rolling that through. Thank you, just freezes the bales out. We can see the foot in the air. I'm ready to make my decision. Third up by two director, we have a player in view. Next to the Australian wickets to fall, Talia McGrath there. Okay, so back at the hotel now, my phone went flat um, during the game. So I came back basically um, to try my phone. Watching the Grigger now and Darcy Brown is bowling the house down. She is absolutely killing it so far. Yeah, Darcy Brown, 2 for 13 off 3.4. Come on, D-Bag. So it's time to pack. Um, Got to get everything into the kit bag right there. And then I've got my main kit bag I need to take downstairs as well. So once everything's packed around 10, 30, 11 ish, I'll take everything downstairs um, to put in the trucks. That way they can be sent off to Melbourne um, and then, yeah, I guess off to Melbourne tomorrow morning. <laughs> Alrighty, packing's all done. I've got my kombucha and I'm still watching the cricket. Come on girls, surely. Six for 117 after 30 overs, surely. Come on. But then again, England do need 89 from 119 balls, so it's going to be a close game. Okay, so once the game has finished, um, it's still going now. Australia need one wicket to win. Um, once they come back from the game, we will have to put our luggage bag and our kit bags down at reception to load up for the truck, obviously to head to Melbourne. Um, and then I'll probably head to bed. Uh, so yeah, we'll, I guess, wait for them to come home. <laughs> Finally taking my two kits back kit bags downstairs. Uh, it's late. I want to go to bed. Ugh. So many bags already and so many more to come. Alrighty, bags delivered downstairs. Time to get some things ready for the morning. I've got everything ready for the morning. I've got um, midi polo, shorts, socks, shoes, whatever I need. I've got my uh, good old duck mask ready to go. I think that's about it really. Obviously I still have my overnight bag as well here and then I've got my iPad, my laptop and a few other things I need to pack but yeah I think that's pretty much everything um, and then I'll just put my thongs in there and obviously the clothes that I'm wearing in my backpack um, as a day bag really. So I guess that's pretty much the day done for me. Um, yeah, uh, travelling tomorrow, day's done. Um, is, is this the end of Aussie A vlog tour series? I think, I think so. Tomorrow, I guess we start a new chapter. Um, <sighs> not really sure what, what I'm going to do next, but, um, I'll think about it overnight. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully there'll be a video soon, but I'm not too sure. Um, maybe I'll just wait until the World Cup. Not, yeah, not really sure, but I've got a bit of time, um, and I'm getting a pimple right there you can see it oh, once again breaking out so <laughs> i guess on that note that's gonna be that's gonna be it cutting it short and sweet um yeah that's pretty much it uh so once again guys thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video if you did enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video whenever that is <laughs> take care